my husband and I went to McDonald's yesterday morning, got some cinnamon rolls for ourselves. I haven't seen Barb in a few months since probably um, around November, the end of November. Uh, and so decided to get her some cinnamon rolls to drop them off and say hi to her. She wasn't at home. No one answered the door. I could hear their dog, Maggie, whimpering, their golden retriever. Um, left, came back home, left her a message on her cell phone that I had come by and I would try later. Um, and uh, did a little more putzing around the house. Uh, texted my friend Cindy and asked her if she'd heard anything and to let her know what I had seen, um, seen over there. No, I'm sorry. I had gone over there in the afternoon around two, saw that the street was blocked off, and came back home, texted Cindy, and asked her if she had heard from Barb or Gary at all. Um, and she said no. So I just hung around the house a little bit. When I saw the helicopter return in that area, I texted her and said, you know, the helicopter's back. Um, how about if I swing by and get you and we'll go over there and see what's going on, and we did. I parked, we got out, the neighbors are around, we're hearing different things, and some people don't know anything, and, um, but it wound up being Barb and Gary's house, and that they said there was a female inside, and, uh, you know, we were just standing there, just totally with our mouths open, Not, we, we couldn't believe it, because Cindy and I both met uh, Barb and Gary with, our commonality is our dogs. Cindy has a retriever, Gary and Barb have their retriever. She met them actually on Oso Creek Trail, but I would always bring Riley, my Aussie, over to the uh, Marguerite M. O'Neill Park right here behind our house. Um, and so we would just sit around for an hour, hour and a half and chit chat and the dogs would play and that's how I got to know Barb and Gary. So it's been a, a couple of years now, but um, we're not really close friends. We would go to lunch and, you know, movie or something like that, but it wasn't like on a continual basis. So, you know, been to her house a few times just to visit, but that's about it. I mean, what, what do you, so how do you feel about, I mean, what do you think about this? Were you just totally shocked? I, I'm shocked. It's probably not going to truly hit me. I mean, it's like talking about a story that hasn't sunk in, that it's real, authentic. Mm -hmm. And, um, that there is a person I know that is deceased now. And, um, uh, Barb was just kind of a happy-go-lucky person and like laughing a lot. She was a laugher and a talker and Gary was kind of on the quieter side, more reserved and he was a cool guy though, calm and, and um, seemed okay. They went on camping trips with the, the family. Um, a couple of times they've been on camping trips and they'd always bring their dog. So to me, it seemed like everything was okay. Um, so I'm, I'm really quite surprised. I was just you know, really shocked of hearing something like this. So I don't know what happened. I don't know what caused something, you know, someone to, to get to this point, you know? I have no idea because I really, like I said, I really don't know them that well. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a real shame that it had to come to this.